morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? I hope you are doing fantastic. You know what? It was my birthday on the 12th. The birthday is over and now, hey, it's where we left. I'm back. Eh? Where did we leave? Skilled workers visa. Hmm? How far are you? What have you been up to? Did you check the websites? So, if you are an existing member, thank you so much. You are not take, taken for granted here. If you are new, if you are a returnee, you are welcome. Karibu, karibu sana. Here, we support, we enable, we give hope, and we share information. Information that can give us all equity, all chances, because this life is there to be lived so let us be kind anyway without further ado i got some other information and the information is we spoke about skilled uh, work a skilled workers visa and today i have a visa that is called health and care workers visa health and care workers visa and you know they have listed the whole list www.gov.uk www.gov.uk they have put a list there of all those people that fall in this bracket of health and care workers visa and do you know who they are when we hear about health we think about nurses eh? Uh -uh. It's nurses, dental nurse, pharmacist, physiotherapist, lab technician, doctors, every carers, 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 everyone, everyone falls in there. Man, this information is getting so good. <laughs> you know, in UK, this information has not been there for a long time. So us being given this opportunity, let's use it, guy. We have to be very vigilant. We have to work. Information is power, remember? So, on this visa, you can, if you fall on this category of a, of a lab technician, a physiotherapist, psycho, psycho, psychiatrist, psychologist, all those things, you can apply a job through skilled workers visa. But, there's something you have to know. Hmm. You know you pay for visa, right? But this is what happens. When you go to those, uh, website, those websites or places that I showed you how to find jobs, that is indeed UK, you have to carefully read what they are offering you because there is offers. Yeah, so you might find an employer that will employ you, support all your uh, immigration things like the visa, everything. But what's the catch? Maybe when you come here, they have written, they will deduct the money slowly. Alternatively, others will let you know that you have to probably pay for your visa. So you have to read the job description properly and what they're offering. So this brings my point. As much as these jobs in the health and care workers visa, you can still apply this skilled workers visa on them. When you apply on a health and care worker visa, you pay less on the visa. Yes. So if you're a physiotherapist and psychiatrist and all those names, if you apply this visa, the visa is less the money is you pay less than the other visa that's an advantage it's Teshua Jawana here and guys have you subscribed please if this is your content do consider subscribing give it a thumbs up so that we can communicate and I know what you are up to or you like the video or not Comment down below, ask questions. Anyway, guys, 
because I want you to be here in the next few months, I will continue. So, the list is on the website, like I said, www.gov.uk. On this health and care worker visa, because most jobs, not most, but like it's like all the jobs are something to do with the body, eh? something to do make your body better. The physiotherapist, the psychologist, the psychiatrist, the doctors, everyone. Then you find these jobs are posted on LinkedIn. Yeah. If you don't have that app, please hurry up. Upload, put that app on. Yeah. LinkedIn. You go in LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn sign up. Check for these jobs. Check what you are qualified in. Check the paper you have. Yeah. So check the jobs, what they are offering there. And um, if you find what you like, read the job descriptions, what you are offered, and start the process. You know, May it's your turn. It's your chance. Don't lose it. Yeah. We don't want to get at that point that... I was told, but I did not, I didn't think it was serious. Guys, if something is on the government website, more so UK government website, it's because it's there, it's real, it's happening. Eh? It's going on. Remember, eligibility, English. Like I said, on the, uh, on the, vi on the skilled workers visa video, if you are on those places, because the eligibility is an equivalent of A-levels, which I'll put it, it's more of a college, yeah, college diploma level, then you can speak English. You did your exam in English, yeah, so that's one eligibility. The second one, when you get the job, you've gone to LinkedIn, you've set up the app, you've checked the jobs, you've, uh, you've applied, you've you've had whatever interview maybe to be, of course it will be the virtual one because you are in another country and your employer is here they have said you like they like you you continue with the process now here it's time to apply for the visa so you've decided who is pay who is pay if it's you who is uh, paying for the expense of the visa or it's the it's your employer paying and how you guys are going to go about it because no company is the same remember that and remember here i'm talking about when you're doing things straight from the uh, from the information on the on the government website and information that are from the research this is not through uh, agency so if you're doing through straight on through what the information i'm giving you that means you're not paying anyone and that means the in the money that you're going to pay is there because government websites they write there they write the amount of money you're paying for the visa or anything else you need so you are able to even calculate how much you need for your travel and so on and so forth you know do this a couple of times check more jobs so that you choose the best offer yeah on the government website on this visa health and social care uh, and the care worker visa you can bring your family mm -hmm. yes you can bring your family and if it's a family of father and a, a child the visa is 600 pounds yeah and your visa as the one coming to work it's if you are applying for three years that's 232 pounds but if you are applying for more than three years that's 464 pounds yeah are we together yes we are together so that's the amount you are paying so also you are they say uh you for eligibility you also need to have an equivalent of a hundred 1270 pounds in your account uh depending on exchange rate um let's say 150,000 150,000 Kenyan shillings but please do your research check what's the current exchange rate 
of 1270 so you should have that in your account yeah for just it's more of to show that you are able to pay your fee are we together that's just a criteria that's just a criteria to follow but guys if you get a job this money this 200 uh, 232 pounds for how long for three years <laughs> you will pay yourself that money within within your first week and that money 232 pounds you can pay yourself within the first week and that one that money is for you to stay here for three years if i'm making any sense so you can imagine in three years and they're also supporting your family to come so guys like i said it's time it's hot the tea is hot this is your chance grab it if you can all information are on the government uk government website you do not need to go any further yeah i will check information the more I get information, the more I will pop it here because I want to see my brothers and sisters around. Mm -hmm. I want to see you guys around because I do understand there's people with these jobs, like this qualification, but there's no job where they are. So these jobs are priority in UK. They are priority. They are needed. There is staff shortage so if you do your homework very well i should be able to see you here in december yes thank you so much if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so if this is your content and like share comment let me know your questions let me know your experience we are here to learn. I'm here to learn from you. And you're here to get one or two things from me. Until next time. Baraka. And be kind.